I mean, the reason we use the word architecture is we're drawing a metaphor from the construction industry. And as in typical with software development, we got the metaphor completely wrong. Because in the software, if in the building industry, what an architect it does is concentrates on the experience of people working and using in the building. I mean, if we were to say what is the equivalent of an architect in software development, it would be user experience designers. It wouldn't be anybody concerned with the internal design of a system. I'm very conscious of this because I'm married to someone who does do that work. She's a structural engineer. And that's completely different to architects. And I can tell you, traditionally, structural engineers and architects get on just about as well as the average programmer and enterprise architect does in our industry. So I think a better metaphor for what architecture should be like in the software world um, let's put up, there's a nice little talk you can hunt around on YouTube by another colleague of ours, Eric Dernenberg. And the talk is called Architecture Without Architects. And what his point of view is that if you're going to look for a metaphor, a better metaphor for architecture is city planning. Because with city planning, you've got something that's much more dynamic and vibrant. Things are changing all the time in city planning, and you have to react to that while at the same time trying to keep some kind of coherence across um, the whole picture. It's important to have some kind of planning activity, because otherwise you end up with an overly chaotic city. Um, but at the same time, you can't come up with a design and let it set, because things are always going to change around you. And I think that's a much better metaphor for what software architecture is about.